Hi everyone. Happy April. Today I'm showing you all of the pages I did for March 2024. It will include Etsy, International Books, Etsy Printables, Amazon Books, maybe a Patreon in here somewhere. And I have really good ones and then I have a about four or five days of terrible ones I did because I had had surgery so you can really see the difference when I was putting effort into it versus coloring for like like I, oh I'm on opioids and I'm out of it and I'm just coloring just to distract myself while binge watching in my recovery chair pages you can tell the difference but anyway I want to start with this Katrina Pallone book beautiful book I love it it's from Etsy um and it's, I love it because it has this high shine gloss paper and they're perforated. You can tear them out. I usually don't tear out my pages, um, but this book, I there's so many details and I don't usually like pages with a lot of details, but I knew it was going to take forever to do a page and I did three in this book. I tore them out and I'll show you in a minute, but I just wanted to show you the book. My, I was actually thinking I might do the entire book. I'm going to probably do this Peacock one next. I was just kind of in a mode to, like to start doing books that I I have that I don't normally do ones with tons of details or ones that would take forever or ones that you have to do in pencil because you don't want it to bleed through so I'm trying to challenge myself more so anyway I love this book and I'm probably going to try to do most of the whole book and then make like an album um just really beautiful and in the back I believe it lists the illustration guide it lists like you know, a Vietnamese woman wearing a blah blah with a cat sitting on her shoulder, a Beijing opera actress, a tattooed Japanese girl in a kimono, a Chinese woman with a birdcage chest, a Korean girl in a habak, an Indian woman in a sari, Japanese bribe, um, Mongolian eagle huntress. So it's very interesting, you know, culturally informative. So anyway, here are the three that I did. This is this one took forever and ever. Um... <laughs> And I, I realized I didn't finish their eyes. I started with the Posca, but I didn't go back in with the black. So they kind of look like a little demon-y. So I'll go back and fix that. But um, all three of these pages I did with Ohuhu markers, which is why they're so shiny and vibrant. But oh, look at all these lanterns, like all these flower details. Just took forever and ever. And I did white Posca on the, the flowers. So I did this one. Then I did this one, which I really like. Um, this reminds me of like a Japanese kimono-y type, you know, flowers. And I did alcohol marker blender on the birds. But I used my Oahu, Oahu series, all of those packs. I have all the different packs, but just kind of random colors I was grabbing. Did that one. Then I did this one, which the background came a little bit of an issue, but overall I thought it was really pretty. And uh, I love the sort of the bird in the chest. See that? So I really liked that. And I did the pink, orange, and yellow sky gradient with the markers. Um, they didn't blend super well because I did too much of a variation between this color and this color. They weren't close enough together, so you can kind of see where they, one stops and the other end, uh, where they, you know, merge. But anyway, so yeah, did those. I uh, love those three. So I'm going to continue doing all of these books, and I'll keep showing you the pages as I do them. All right, so gathering these. Um, next, I did this printable by Mariola Budek. Um, this is an A4 printable that came with one, her pack of portrait book I bought on Etsy. And I did do a full tutorial on, on testing out Tombow ABT Pro alcohol markers and how to blend leaves and roses. I will link that video below where this is the completed page. I never got to show you guys um, at the end of that video, but that's what this is here. And so, um, really great markers. And sometimes I like to leave a white background so that the colors will really like pop out. Uh, they'll really pop out, um, which I don't do that a lot, but sometimes I do like a white background. So 
I did do that. And this is a nice freebie that came with her, her pages there. Um, my light keeps shifting because it's like ring me and then the clouds pass and then the sun comes through and then gets really bright and then it gets dark again and back and forth. Very annoying. All right, here I have a book. This is the Symphony of Cute Animals. And I did do a couple pages in here. I did a two page spread using Amazon basic pencils. So I did this whole spread for Easter. Background is gelatos with a dry brush, a bright yellow and a white. So all of this was all pencil, um, Amazon Basics pencils, which are supposed to be similar to Prismacolor, but they are not. They're hard. They don't crumble at all. They don't blend great, but I was determined from the time I started to finish it after I realized I didn't like them. <laughs> so you see like a little scratchiness and stuff like that. It wasn't probably the best paper for that, but but I thought it was cute and kind of Easter-ish, you know, overall. And I had really, really, really press and press to get the dark yellow on there. Um, I have one I did in markers here, even though it bleeds through. And I was really excited about this, this kind of bright blue elephant mandala. You can see, obviously, it bleeds through. Um, I only do that when I know I won't want to do the page on the other side. Otherwise, I do pencils. But I loved, I did alcohol marker with this one. And, of course, I love markers because the color is just so much more vibrant. You can see from pencil type work. Um, did one in here a couple years ago that wasn't very good when I was still learning, practicing my skills. But yeah, I like this book a lot. This is an Etsy book. If I can, if these are still available, I'll link these all below, all the books and all the products I mentioned, I'll link below and all of the tutorials and other videos I mentioned, I'll link below. So let me show you um, here. I love this book. This is Linka Filoninka's book. And on Etsy, you can buy this book alone. You can buy a three pack of her books. They are from uh, Europe. Um, they're A4 size. They're amazing. They're heavy. They're spiral bound. The paper is like a thick, heavy card stock. I love her books. And I, I am intending to complete all of her books. I have all of the books, but I'm intending to do them all. You can hear the paper, how that is. Let me this camera a lot of shadows today i did three pages in here and i did vow to keep um these backgrounds white because all of the pictures in this book are like eight like a easter egg like a circle oval anyway these were all done in hobby lobby master's touch markers alcohol markers they're on par with copic but a little cheaper so i did all of that this work with and that and then an alcohol marker blender pen, which I can link below with a three pack. I use them on everything, all my alcohol marker pictures. So I did the little piggy, but that was sweet. I did some horses in here. How are you? No, I did the little lammy. Ironically, I should have done the lamb more white. I don't know why I did him beige. And then I did the mother and baby horse. You see here, little horsey. So I did that one. I'm gonna turn down my brightness a little. Um, yeah, but I love this book. It's got just beautiful pictures. And I love her dance book, her bloom, her fairies book. They're all just amazing. So if, if you can bring, you know, 60 bucks, you can get like a three pack of our books. It's really, they're really worth it. And I'll link below like one of the, th this book, but you can find more of her books through her store name on Etsy. Um, next I did another international overseas Etsy book. Saku M's illustration, Natural Enchantment 2018. Love, love, love the books. Despise the, the business practices and personality of the artist, unfortunately. Not a very good business person. Terrible nightmare trying to get these books. Took two months, no tracking provided. Trying to get replacements, it was just a disaster. Uh, very rude, defensive seller. But the work is amazing, I have to admit. And this is one of the books that I want to complete. Um, the books are A4, they're heavy. Oh, and this is from France, by the way. You get the spiral brand. Um, it's amazing. 
got kind of like fantasy, you know, portraits and original, all original art. But let me, I have to turn it so I can get to the pages I did. First one I did is the Woods Tree Gal here. So you can really fit it all on the page, but I love, love, love. I, I didn't do any eye makeup. I wanted her to be oh natural. But yeah, there's like five or six different browns on her tree body. Um, Alexa, cancel. The background was a blend of the Master Touch markers um, of like a, just a pink and a, Alexa, cancel, like a pink and a blue. Um, kind of like a tie-dye look. and But the paper is just like shiny and smooth and silky and not like a shine, but like, like a buttery silk. And it's just no texture anywhere and perfect book for markers. I love it. Absolutely love it. And then I did this one more Easter colors. Um, it had these little divider lines here. So I did like quadrants of pastels and then brought those colors into her in the center. So I do intend to do this whole book as well as her whole kawaii girls book. Um, had a great time. This, these were all, um, these were done by Shin Han Alcohol Art Markers, which are again on Copic, um, on par with Copics. They're a little cheaper. Not that much cheaper actually, they're still expensive. I did another one here in red. That I did, <clears throat> not that easy to find these. Um, back for Valentine's Day. You guys might have seen this in a previous video. I just wanted to show you. I did the background with hand pastels and markers. And I just love this book because there's so much room to work. And hand pastels work. Water mediums work. Markers work. Pencils work. Everything works. It's just amazing. And I've done a couple pictures in her other books as well. So I did those. I do recommend the books. But just know it'll take you probably two months. And you probably won't get a tracking number. And... Even though her listing says, if you don't get it within three weeks, message me for a replacement. Just expect if you do that, she's going to tell you to keep waiting and she's not going to give you a replacement. Um, so, anyway, uh, next I have two books by Dara Kirkersoy. I have Fair Fantasy and Fairy Cuties, Color and Beautiful, Fun Fantasy. Another artist book that I love because Dara uses uh, the prime Amazon paper which isn't like the normal one like Deborah Muller uses, the scratchy dry one. This is like a gloss, great light gray scale, amazing for alcohol markers, especially the brush tip ones like the Copics or the um, uh, Shinhan or the Windsor Newtons. Absolutely amazing. I do almost all the pictures in these books in marker. I did do this little girl, but she was really cute. Um, so she's done in those Shinhan touch markers. I believe I have a video for the Shin Han markers where I tried them out, tested them, and demoed them. I'll see, I'll link that below if I can find it. And then in that video, you can find a link to buy the markers. Background is all gelatos with a dry brush, which I put a little, that green gelato here to match her hair and some of the yellow and orange. I like, like it's, it's a good practice to take your center characters colors and bring them to the outside. But whatever color is on your character, shouldn't be the one you generally right next to the body so like her hair is green you wouldn't put the green background around it you'd put the green over here and have like a yellow around it because you want contrast of color so around the yellow you know you see I put a green and orange you wouldn't put more yellow around it because then you can't really tell when one ends and the other begins um but yeah, I love various books I intend to do all of her books uh, every month I show you guys some pictures I do in her books I did that one quite a long time ago and this is the other one. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'll link these books below. Did this one here. Again, I was just looking for pictures that would be good for springtime. Again, gelatos in the background. Um, I put the bright green around her, same green as I used in that one, just to kind of accentuate the, the earth tones of the yellow and the brown. Um, use my Copic chows for her skin and hair. Um, a hoo hoo markers here, all marker, no, oh, and a glitter, a gloss and glitter pen. You can see on the butterfly. Can you see the glitter on her lips? I did some gloss. Not sure if you can tell. Probably can't tell in here. 
yeah so i was really happy with this one i love her books Let's see is there another yeah amazing just love her books i just love them um all right so and next i i do have some more printables let's pull out a few printables here this was from Halloween. I never finished Daria Kecker Soys. All I had done is the the silver um, on the blade with a metallic marker, but I decided to finish it. It's been sitting on my desk for months, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go and do this. So I did the kind of dark jewelry pan pastel background gradient effect, and then all alcohol marker for the rest. And you can see around her glasses and her jewelry, I did. A, meta a, hoo -hoo, a metallic or uh, tohu glitter markers both I think alcohol blender marker for the shirt and the the bat and the pumpkin I don't know why I was in the mood to finish this one I've just been sitting there staring at me so I went for it um here I did this one from Deborah Muller's Miss Positive I did this one all in Artex pastel markers uh, set I can link that set below as well I love that set really great this is all those printables are on my Nina paper which is my favorite paper for printables whether it's Patreon or Etsy it works amazing for pencils pan pastels gelatos alcohol markers acrylic pens sharpies not as great for water mediums unless it's super light water because it will tear up the paper but everything else is perfect it's a card stocky matte but anyway, I'm, I did boo-boo on her eyes, which is hilarious. Um, look at, I went, I did it at night and I went to go do the whites of her eyes and I grabbed my thick fat Posca instead of my skinny one. And I wasn't thinking because it was like two in the morning and I did it and it was like, blop, you know, big old eye thing. And it was completely offline. I'm like, oh, how am I going to fix that? <laughs> I'm just like... Uh, okay well whatever oh and then here I used um liquid pearls I did a yellow neon marker and then liquid pearl so these are textured and raised which I put the dots on here and brought all the colors together this one is from Deborah Muller's new Etsy pdf printable book royalty which is my first page in royalty I I have most of our books but um, I do like to buy the ones that I know I'm going to want to do a lot of on Etsy because I can do on better paper and her unfortunately her books are amazing but the paper is so crummy that she prints on and you can't, you can't use your high end or your like you know your, your better quality expensive like alcohol markers which I like to do um, on that paper it just sucks up the ink so anyway this was done um, gelato rainbow outside um, I used a green and yellow shinhan alcohol marker just to kind of like swirl them all together and blended them all alcohol markers and then for her you can see her this is all textured you see that and obviously a sparkle pen uh, the sparkle pens I use are these I'll link those below I use those for uh, like lip gloss and um, for butterflies and anything that you want to have a little sparkle to but yeah I did all these stickles and um, Look at pearls for her jewels and then stickles here. Always do a marker color on the, and then put the stickle on top. Otherwise you'll see white through it. So I, li I liked my background a lot too. That was from Royalty. Um, here's another, another Deborah Muller I was not very happy with, but this was I believe from Easter Parade printable, same paper. Um, and you can see on the eggs, I did that like, sparkle pen again. I did have stickle accents here, liquid pearls on her dress. The background, I did a pink, orange, and a yellow um, brush tip alcohol marker. Just You just kind of like start, you swirl a little one color and then another color, just start rotate through them and swirl them all together. And that's kind of how I get that look. Carrie just did orange and yellow. It's an interesting look. I, I like to play with that look sometimes. Kind of tie-dye-ish, actually. Um, I wasn't real pleased with the markers I used for this part. And then I went over a pencil to fix it, and that made it worse. <laughs> but, you know, nothing's perfect. But 
I was out of it for a whole week after my surgery and that's when I get to some of these crummier pages I'm going to show you. So here we have, oh, hmm, I do like my Joshua Dunbar books. Hello Country Spring and Easy Spring. Hello Country Spring is a great book. It's got that like chunky, um, not quite as easy as the easy coloring, a little more detailed, but I did this one. Um, I did two this year, two last year, and I use straight up a hoo-hoo marker and an alcohol marker blender to get that faded, kind of vintagey look. So I decided I'm gonna keep consistent with the theme in this book, all the ones I do. So very simple, but thick lines and light gray scale here and there, and just great for markers. You can do pencils too. I've done pencils in his books. Um, last year I did this one, and you can see that gold metallic marker I did on the lamp. Um, same Ohuhu markers and blender. Uh, again, I really recommend the three pack of alcohol marker blenders. I swear I use them for everything. Like this vintagey look, it's really just like solid brown marker, then orange, then yellow marker, working quickly. Then you go over it with the alcohol marker and it, and it gives it like a faded paint look or wallpaper look, but I, I do really like that. I did also this year, this one with the bumblebee. Again, navy blue background, a hoo-hoo marker, all the hoo-hoo markers. Um, in the bubble, you can see some of that sparkle from that sparkle pen I showed you. I did this one, also with alcohol markers. Just some real easy, easy ones. And then last year, also this one. This was the first one I did. Um, I love how my sky turned out with the green, blue, turquoise, purple, lavender. Again, that same alcohol blender. Love it. Love the flowers. I might have a tutorial on how to do this. I, uh, doing th this actual page. If I do, I'll link it below. I, it seems familiar, like these tulips. Um, but I, I, yeah, I love this book. I'm going to continue working on it. Um, easy Spring is all right. It's kind of more, a little more boring. It's obviously easier for beginners or just easy coloring or testing new mediums. Great book if you do want to test new mediums and experiment. But my picture turned out to be a disaster in here. <laughs> um, very cheap markers I was trying to use up on here. This was like a day after my surgery. I think I did this picture. This is a lesson learned. Whenever you don't have, when you have a lot of white space on a page, do not attempt to use an alcohol marker for your background because it sucks up the ink, especially if it's Amazon paper. So I started with a rich pink alcohol marker that was fine, but by the time I got like from here to here, it was already fading, you know, and it wasn't brand new, but it seemed like it had plenty of ink. So it was so dull that I just went ahead and did it. It was white all over. So then I just took this white pencil and I squiggled in all this stuff to kind of make it look like save it, but it, I don't know. I don't think it looks very good, honestly, but um, this should have been a pan pastel gelato or some other background that doesn't take up a lot of uh, marker ink. But yeah, this is a cute book. Um, my favorite is the Country Spring, Country Fall, Country Summer. Okay. I have here Cute and Floppy, Hoppy by Alexander Franzesi and Bunnies, Bears, and Blooms by Deborah Muller. It's really sad. Deborah's books are currently not available in print due to some kind of an issue. But you can get them all at Etsy. And I'll link again that Nina paper below, which I would recommend for any of her books. Um, love this book, Cute and Floppy, and the Alexander Franzesi books because they're like sweet relaxing fun chunky coloring great for pencils i've done pencils and star books or markers again huge heads like this don't do alcohol markers it'll just suck it all up only smaller things but yeah so i did two in here one is great and one is terrible this one was all done in sioux color pencils which i love my sioux color pencils I believe they're as good as the Prisma colors, but definitely cheaper and you get more of them. I have a whole video on doing Sioux Color pencils and testing them and showing them, which I'll link that below also. But all this was my Sioux Color pencils, took a long time. Then I have, I wanna do this one. Then I have an experiment page, which all went to crap real quick. So I'm gonna tell you what happened here. Don't do this. <laughs> so. I started out good. You know, I did these three eggs that were bright and vibrant in my Artex mid-tone markers. 
um, I hadn't used them in like a year and they were, they're great markers. Did those three. Okay, good. Everything was looking pretty good. Did this hill. Everything's looking pretty good. Very basic. Then I took some glitter markers. Ahu glitter markers. I did like these accents here, candies. That was my first mistake. Big second mistake was I'm like, oh, let's get creative. I'm going to try to use my, my makeup to do a background. So I did actual makeup background. Um, it turned starting out was starting out really good until I decided to do something stupid. Um, I decided to start pressing my thumb in it <laughs> just like to create like like a bubbly look and all I left is like actual thumbprints all over and it looks stupid and then I couldn't like rub it out. It was terrible. So that just wrecked it. So then I'm like, okay, it's already wrecked. I'm gonna try out a new fixative. So I had a new fixative, a liquid fixative with a brush. That's supposed to be really good for thicker paper. It was not good on this paper because it wrinkled it. You know, you, you squiggle it on. I had a big brush and I started painting it on and all it did is just drag the color down and it pulled like color out of this glitter stuff, which, which had been dry for a couple hours and just smeared it everywhere. Like you can see all the smears there. It was just like, <laughs> I mean, if you're ever going to test new, new things, do it on a, on a kind of a, a book that you don't care how the picture turns out. Maybe even on a picture you don't like, but I love, I do love this book actually, but lesson learned, live and learn. Um, and my Deborah book, Bernie's Bears and Blooms, another failure. This was also like three days after my surgery. I did this one when I wasn't caring what I did or just trying to make the time fly. Um, a good example of why not to use alcohol markers, especially ones that are more expensive to replace in these books because the paper is so dry and just sucks up the ink. Um, like my, her skin looks all mottled. Like it, the second you set down your Copic skin tone, it's already dry before you can get to the next color and start blending. And I work fast, but it doesn't do that on the Nina paper or, or the good papers. So it just looks mottled and crummy. It, the background of alcohol marker, some, actually these were crummy ones I was using up, didn't blend well. You see the color gradients. The only thing that turned out decent was the bunny, the way I blended the bunny, but I was very unhappy with this picture and it was kind of just like a, you know, use up old mediums kind of a picture. But I am glad I got this book before it temporarily went out of print. I only have three things left and I saved them because, uh, you know, save the worst for last. These are the ones I did the day of my surgery. Like after I came back from the hospital, um, I had a double mastectomy with the first phase of reconstruction. I was only, surgery was four hours. I was only in there for two after and then I got to go home. And I came home, I still cooked dinner. I was on my computer doing normal things, you know, I was a little wide awake because of the meds they gave me. And I started on this picture while I was just binge watching that whole evening and night, some um, Paramount Plus show, I think it was, uh, it was a crime show called Active Shooter. And it was really sad and tragic. I don't know why I was watching that on that day, but that's what I was watching. And I just jumped in and did all these Easter eggs and I grabbed my an old set of Restly, cheap, cheap, like $20 for 80 alcohol markers that I've never really used, just kind of use them up. And like, you can so see, I was out of it. You can see how pale they are, how faded they are, how many little spots are missing. I was just like grabbing colors with no rhyme or reason. My background was terrible. Everything's terrible, but I was, you know, I had like bandages all over my chest and like I I was on like all muscle relaxers and opioids and all these meds. I mean, I felt great. I didn't feel any pain. I didn't feel any discomfort, you know, I, but this is the, this is what happens when you are sick or recovering from surgery and just color just to color just to like to distract yourself or relax it just and don't think about what you're doing and they, they all look like you know crap um also the next morning i did another bad one in valentine cuties uh, which is joshua dunbar i don't know why i had this book on my desk forever i did this one this is just these cute little girls with a pan pastel no, i'm sorry distressed ink background uh, this is actually better than the Easter egg one. Um, and, you know, I was feeling pretty good. Like, I didn't really ever have any pain with my surgery. Um, I only took the opioids for, like, 48 hours. I think it was. Maybe maybe by the third day I took one, but I didn't really even need it. Um, all I really felt 
by the second day was like sore like like oh i'm in really bad shape and i just went to the gym and the, the personal trainer put me through a weightlifting workout like that's how you feel all like you're all like going i would move around like sore but it wasn't like pain um so i'm grateful for that um this is fairy gardens marty noble by creative haven um and i anyway so that was two weeks ago two weeks and two days ago is when i had my surgery um, I think I filmed a video too the next day, <laughs> my last video or two. Um, I love this book, by the way. I'll show you a little flip through. Um, but I, uh, the only thing that's been a problem, like two days ago, I had to go in for my first fill. So during the surgery, you don't come out flat chested because they put these expanders in, which are like a temporary implant, where you go to the plastic surgeon every 10 days and they inject saline in there and they slowly grow your boobs back to what back to or bigger than whatever you want but it takes you know three months and so I, I went in two days ago for my fill and they like line up this syringe into your chest where there's a, a magnet under your skin with the expander and you don't feel anything because there's no nerves on your chest so that's good but all of a sudden like you just feel like your boobs growing and it was really weird it was like a cold sensation and then pressure and then okay it was no big deal but then the next day and, and since then I've been like only discomfort I've had even from the surgery is from those stupid expander fill like I feel so much pressure in my chest like a aliens are gonna bust out of each boob or something like that it's it really feels weird I keep thinking of that Sigourney Weaver scene in the first alien movie when she dreams that the alien's trying to push its way out of her stomach that's how it feels like something's gonna try to push its way out of there it's it's the skin is stretching you know they, they're it's slowly being stretched um that's why you have to go every 10 days but anyway, so that's that's only that thing that's a real bummer. It feels like you have a corset on your chest, and it really sucks. Um, that so anyway, this is my work in progress. But I I abandoned ship. I'm not gonna finish it. I feel like the characters are too clip arty. I did this two days after my surgery again. It was crappy using cheap markers. I wasn't even thinking about what I was doing. I don't like how it looks. There's mistakes everywhere. They're, everything's flat. The colors are dull. I don't, I, I don't even know what I was doing. I was just grabbing stuff and I, I just, have you ever done that? Like where you're halfway or three fourths away through a picture and you just don't like it, you just give up. So that's, that's what happened here. But I do love the book. So I'll link the book below. So I'm not finishing that picture. But anyway, do I have one more? Uh, and my surgery, by the way, was completely elective. I don't have cancer. Mine was preventative because I have the cancer gene and uh, my breast cancer risk was 87%. So I now it's only 1%. So that's why I did that. It was completely elective. But anyway, I guess I don't have any more pictures. So that's everything I colored in March. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you in the next video. I have a big haul video coming up maybe tomorrow. I'll see you then.